I beat the Roblox Classic event in 24 hours, and in this video I'm going to be going over the entire story from start to finish on what I did to everything that happened in the stream. And with the event just around the corner, I scheduled the stream and waited. Minute after minute, the clock ticked by as my nervousness grew. But I set that fear aside and continued to wait for possibly one of the hardest challenges I'd ever face on Roblox. And with that, the challenge had officially begun. Alright, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15. So to add even more stress to the challenge, Roblox decided to add 15 games, and little did I know that each game would take up to an hour minimum to beat. And I decided to go all in in this challenge and try to get everything in the classic. In addition to each game, Roblox had these little quests you could beat in the classic hub. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And after only a few hours in the Classic Hub, I headed off into the first game, completely unaware of what I was starting. Now the first game was Beast Worm Simulator, and in this game you had to survive 10 waves from these slimes that would try to destroy the hive, and if the hive took 10 hearts of damage, it was over for us. Unfortunately, I didn't know what I was doing at all, as I charged into battle without any weapons, so I went ahead and bought one. Chill, bro. Chill! Yeah, we were getting cooked, and it was already off to a bad start with three lives left. Fortunately for us, round two was just around the corner. Thankfully, that's when the zombies started spawning in, and these guys are super dumb. You see, you can actually loop around them while stabbing them, which made things ten times easier. And with round three up next, I charged into battle. Tickle him! What? And unfortunately for us, all good things came to an end once round five showed up. Back, round beast! Yeah, the slimes won, but in spite of that, we pushed on surviving round after round after round after round. And at round 9, I had saved up enough money to buy this sword, which would deal much more damage to all the enemies. Since we had some spare time on round 9, I decided to build this little barricade so the slimes couldn't get through as easily. They're vaulting the walls. How are they jumping over the wall? And a few more rounds later, the slimes overwhelmed us. We died, but thankfully, I got all the tokens from winning, which was all I needed for this event. Unfortunately, since I'm a bit of a completionist, I decided to go back into the lobby so that I could get all the ticks. And with that, we had finally completed one game after about two hours. And the next game on the list was Bed Wars, and similarly to Beast Worm Simulator, they had ticks scattered around the map, so I decided to collect those first. And as for the Bed Wars event, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. In the event, you have to defend your bed from these penguins, and similar to last game, the waves do get harder as they go on. And with the first wave starting, I prepared myself really badly. You see, I had a basic sword, and the penguins in this event dealt a ton of damage. With round one over, I decided to get a better sword and upgrade the bed defense, but then this happened. Yeah, no, I placed it in the worst spot imaginable. I kind of feel bad because they're like, they're like squeaking whenever you hit them. What are you doing? The penguins got our bed, which meant we couldn't respawn anymore. And being the intellectual I am, I jumped off. I died. And with round two next, learning from our mistakes, we made the worst defense imaginable. Wait, 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 bro. We need someone to defend the base. What do you protect the bed, dude? Thankfully, we beat that wave and we're doing fairly well until they spawned. And being the big brain genius I am, I tried going for the other penguins instead of seeing this guy leaving our bed wide open. Unfortunately for us, our bed was defenseless and we got cooked. Leaving the game with one badge, I decided to play another game for badges in the meantime. The next game I decided to play was Restaurant Tycoon 2, and in this event, you basically had to serve these classic customers... ...prizes. Oh my gosh, I... Yeah, that took a while. We're only in two. With that game done, I unintentionally chose possibly the most time-consuming game of the entire event. Toilet Tower Defense. And it was already becoming clear that this event was starting to take a mental toll on me. I don't know how much longer I can take. Toilet Tower Defense also had some ticks hidden around the map, so I got those first. You see, the goal for this game was fairly simple. All you had to do was get a certain amount of kills with a certain character and win several rounds in different game modes. Yeah, this was gonna take a while. And finally, the boss spawned in. 
around hour five, I was getting bored, so I decided to join my gilded VC, and things got a bit hectic. No, 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 go, 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 I was just joking. I heard you're pretty strong. <laughs> I remember who's the strongest. <laughs> About two hours later of the worst game in the classic event, I was finally free. And with that, I headed on to the next game, which was Adopt Me, and it was supposedly the easiest in the event. Oh, yeah, 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 I see, Hello. I see. I'm Nobot. <laughs> so this guy kept yapping on and on. And basically, we need to take this pet and fully raise it for all five tokens. Oh, he's hungry. I need to feed you because the government makes me. About an hour more of grinding, I had finally gotten every badge in Adopt Me. And by this moment, I decided it'd be a good idea to only get the tokens and come back for the ticks later. I'm gonna go to bed because I am very, very tired. So I'm gonna stop recording here. The next morning, I hopped on and got back to the grind. For this next game, you had to basically drive people around as a taxi driver, erase Builderman to get points, and it was gonna take a while as you only get four points per task. And with that, I became a world class Uber driver. I am not mentally here, bro. I am not physically here, bro. We're so close, bro. It's been an hour in this game. We might just barely make it. Oh, that kid just got ran over. Oh my gosh. Wait, did I get it? Oh my god, I got it, oh my god, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Finally, after one long hour of driving, I got all the tokens. Now the next game was simple, but was also going to take a long time. The goal of it was just becoming a grocery store employee and making deliveries. Yeah, no, I got distracted and watch video. It's going to be a great day. And finally, after another long hour of grinding, I had completed the grocery game. Now the next game was less boring, as you had to find 10 ticks around the map, shoot them, and it would give you access to these cool classic weapons. So we got the ticks out of the way first, and after getting all the ticks, I went to work becoming John Wick. We're gonna have to step it up, chat. We're gonna have to step it up. Mowing down player after player for kills, each token was slowly getting closer and closer. And finally, I had gotten everything I needed from this game and left after a sick montage. <laughs> This is Dusty Trip. The goal of the event is just to drive. Drive miles upon miles. So we fixed the car and got ready for the road. The spheres hum? What the? Jeez. Why did that scare me so much? Where's the gun? Where's the gun? Take them out to win? Take who out? Oh my gosh. What's up, kid? It's up here! After getting the first token, I got some help from my fans and learned that every 2,000 meters we went, an event would pop up, which meant this was going to take a while. So I fueled up and got back on the road. Now, the next event was scary as we needed to cross this big broken bridge very carefully. Mm. All right, we're going to need to send it, bro. for the pirates oh okay all right gang let's go rattle these pirates so for this next event they had us clear out this mansion and shoot all the zombies after getting all the zombies even more spawned in there we go why would you toss your gun until this happened <gasps> Roblox HQ, here we are, chat. We're gonna get 1x1x1 right into my trap. All right, get a gun. <clears throat> With 1x1x1 in my sights, it seemed that all hope was lost. The end of our journey was finally here. Is that it? Let's go, let's go. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go to the bathroom really quick. But when I got back, this happened. How did you guys move me into dress to impress? Now, for this event, it was unbelievably simple. All you had to do was find 10 ticks around the map and complete the longest obby known to humanity. Yes. Dot, 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 dot. Now, I'm not gonna make you sit through this obby as it took way too long. Oh, there it is. Okay, I almost left the game. And with that, my ninth game was completed. And the next game on the list was Dragon Adventures, a game where you needed to fly around the map, collecting and hatching these eggs. <laughs> five out of five? Okay. 
So the next game on the list was Clip It, and in this event you just had to take videos with these five characters for the tokens. And nearly another hour later, I got the tokens. So now it was time for Arsenal, one of the only other games with ever put into it. The goal of this was to make your way through Noob City and defeat 1x1x1x1 while completing these five tasks. So of course... Oh no, it's a flood, get out- uh oh! Wait, is that quickly? Press the red button, press the red button! Oh! And with three tokens out of the way, I of course had to go back for the other two. Alright, is that him? Quick press the red button. <laughs> After completing Arsenal, I decided to head into Tower Defense, a game with a simple goal. All you had to do was clear these five stages to receive all the tokens, and the first few rounds weren't great. You suck. Bro. Bro. And things were finally looking up for me in this game until round Ooh. seven. No, we're done. We're done. We're done. Bro, this game sucks. Oh my gosh, bro, please die, die. And eventually, I finally got it. But unfortunately, I would have to go back in and complete four other games. And it was time for the final boss. The very end of my journey. Oh, oh, okay. And with that, I was one game closer to victory. Having only a few games left, I decided to hop back into Bedwars to test my luck with a bit of better strategy this round. You see, this time around, I decided to use more brain power and defend the bed with better blocks in the middle so the penguins can't burrow in as easily. Around wave 4, our favorite penguins decided to show up, and to my surprise, the bed remained untouched that round. And unfortunately, all good things do come to an end, as around wave 5 is when one of them actually made contact. But thankfully, the obsidian was there to save the day. Oh, dang, bro. Dang! But as always, the penguin still burrowed into the bed. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's burrowing. He's burrowing. He's burrowing. He's burrowing. Yeah, no, they won again. And with that, I hopped into the next game, which was possibly the most time-consuming game of the entire event, Blade Ball. All right, how do we do the classic? Oh, play five games? Oh my gosh, bro. And after a few rounds, I was barely even there. Unfortunately for me, we had a guest that decided to arrive. This was the final show up between all of us in 1x1x1, our final chance to beat him once and for- Bro, and about an hour later, I only had two tokens. I decided to call it quits there after an hour of rage. So I, of course, hopped back into Bed Wars hoping to get the event done as I only had a few hours left to complete the event. Things were going well until about wave four. Our bed was already exposed. How? Kill me already. And in the next round, everything was going well as I had obsidian in the first wave. We encased the entire bed and even more obsidian this time along with some ceramic blocks so they couldn't explode as easily. Oh my god, they're in. Jeez, dude, what do we need to do? And it seemed all hope was lost. So because they were all nearly impossible, I decided to take my leave and decided to quit. Ending the challenge. Twenty-four hours to go in the Roblox Classic and the Epic Duck Vault is now open. Roblox was doing one final event in the classics, so I immediately started streaming and we got ready. Alright, 30 seconds, bro. 30 seconds. Oh, it's opening! It's opening! Um. Oh. We need the code. Alright, pull the sword, chap! Pull the sword! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Yo, get him! Get him, chat! Yo, we got him! We did it! Roblox the classic! But after finally beating the event, I still felt like there was something missing. So I hopped back into Bed Wars with the hope of finally winning and beating the event fully. Which is where I was joined by Morphs, and he had stated he knew how to beat the event. Do you want three emeralds for your saber as well? Oh, I was gonna actually use those for obsidian. You, you need the sword before obsidian. Okay, yeah, I'll probably take okay. that then. And with that, I bought the sword, which would up my damage. With a few more waves around the corner, we got ready. And we defeated them wave after wave, finally getting to the last round, which is where we needed to kill the king penguin, which is where Morphs died. Do you want three emeralds for your saber as well? You, you need the sword before obsidian. No, Morphs! Ah! And to my surprise, we actually won. Let's go! After the stream, I decided to go back in every single game, collecting every single ticks and token. With my mental state slowly deteriorating, I decided to finally put this challenge to rest, and took some of my own rest. 